today is Tuesday, January 10th, 2017, and I am excited today because I have been taping my tunnels, and I believe I have about 10 layers, and I just pulled both of them out without unscrewing the back, um, just to see if they can actually come out, and they can, and they are, with the, the back screwed on, they're, they're kind of like double flared, so... I was able to do that and I also went ahead and I took my next tunnel up and I lined it up and they're the same size as the flare which tells me that they are probably ready to size up. Right now they're at a zero gauge and I am going to try to size up to a double zero. So without any further ado, let's get right onto it. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the back and uh, I'm so excited, you guys. This is my goal, my goal size, double zero gauge. And I have like a bunch of stone plugs. I've got like one pair of um, silicone and I've got some surgical steel pairs. I am just so excited. I am so looking forward to wearing all of them. Um, got a whole lot to choose from every day. And once I get used to a double zero, I'll be able to fit my double flare stone plugs through without any problem. So looking forward to that. I didn't think this day would be here until like a while from now. In fact, in my in one of my previous videos, I mentioned like a couple weeks and it's already been like, it's only been like a couple days really. So, I am going to open my vitamin E bottle, my trusty vitamin E. I have a clean Q-tip, and I've got my tapers ready with the tunnels already, already screwed on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lube my ears. I'm going to start with my left ear. I'm just going to lube it really, really good. And I'm going to massage it. Feels weird because I can actually touch my thumb with my finger through my ear. Without even trying. Which is weird. But it's awesome. I like that. So I'm going to take my tunnel and go ahead and lube it up. I really hope I can get this through without any problems. But if I can't, I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to put some more tape on my other tunnels and give it a little more time. So that way I don't get a blowout. I'm pushing and... I am, you know what, I think I could actually do this, you guys. This is my tighter ear. My right ear is my looser ear. And I am not feeling anything. No pinching, no pain, nothing. Maybe a little tightness in the back of the ear. But no pain, no, no nothing. I am so excited. I can't even express how excited I am. Double zero gauge, you guys. This is so cool. As I've mentioned in previous videos, you guys, if you have um, a stretching journey that you would like to share with me, uh, please tell me below in the comments. I, I read everything. I would love to read your story. If you have any questions, comments, anything, anything, feel free to just comment below and I'll address it as soon as I can. So still no pain. I just want to make sure that the area where the taper meets the tunnel is all the way through my ear because I don't want it just halfway through or partially through. And I think it pretty much is. Just going to take my nail and kind of feel for it. It's kind of awkward too because these tapers are shorter. So, uh, 
there's more of a ledge where, where the two sizes meet. So I think at this point it's officially all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and see about pushing the bottom part through first because it wants to tilt for some reason and I don't know why. By the way, I probably have not mentioned this in any previous videos, but tapers are not meant to be worn as jewelry. They're just temporary devices to make stretching your ears a lot easier. And also another thing I want to mention is it's good to tape your ears, especially from, you know, going from a two gauge to a zero gauge and on up because that makes the process so much smoother. I can't even begin to describe how much smoother it makes it. Because basically with taping what you're doing, you're just making your ears used to the bigger sizes before you go shoving a taper through. Not that you're ever gonna actually shove the taper through. And I'm taking a little extra time with this one because I feel like the back part of my ear is not around the double zero size. I just don't want to take my taper off and try to screw the back part on and pinch my skin. That would not be pretty. And so far in this stretching journey of mine, I have never had a blowout. And I don't intend to ever get one because I hear they're a nightmare. And if you're not familiar with the term blowout, it's basically where your ear looks like the north end of a southbound cat. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. And it's caused by stretching your ears too fast and not giving yourself enough time to get used to one size before you go up to the next. Or it's also caused by skipping sizes, which I'm guilty of, to be honest. Um, I intend to post maybe a video about my whole journey. Sadly, I can't post the actual journey itself because I didn't film it all. I, I just filmed like parts of it. So, um, yeah, my journey has been pretty easy for the most part. I've been pretty lucky. I have, uh, healthy ears and for some reason my fingers are so slippery from the oil I can't seem to get the taper off so what I'm going to do you guys is I'm going to go ahead and grab some paper towels or maybe just one and I will see you soon I have my handy paper towel so I'm just going to go ahead and grasp the front of my tunnel and the back part where the taper is, and I'm just going to twist it off. Here it comes. I think. Well, I really screwed it on there. I hear a slidey motion, but that's just the paper towel sliding on the taper. And by the way, if you're wondering where you can purchase a taper set like this, I purchased mine from Bod FX. It's a whole kit from, I believe, 8 gauge to double zero. And it's come in so handy. I could not have done this journey without it. I have other tapers where this, the, the taper itself does not screw onto the tunnel. And following the taper with the tunnel, I couldn't do it. So I'm thankful that I have these. So I really don't understand why this is so tight. In fact, my hands are not as slippery. Oh, there it is. It's a coming. It's gonna make sure the tunnel isn't all the way. Uh, it's just not wanting to come apart. 
I think you guys, I think it might be on their Cricut, so if that's the case, I might have to, that is the case. No bigs. So what I'm going to do is you got to be really careful with the threading of this thing. you got to make sure it's lined up perfectly, otherwise it'll be a diva and not do what you want it to do. But it's not the end of the world, we'll just lube it up again. The good news is the ear has already been stretched to a double zero, so it's not going to be as big of a shock as it was before. Not that it was a shock this time because of the taping method. Alrighty, so here we go again. Gently um, putting pressure. Not too much, not too fast. No pinching, no pain. Making sure that the skin is all the way around the tunnel itself. That's the tricky part with these things because these tapers are so short. The thing I like too about these tapers is that they're not heavy, whereas my other ones are. Um, I suppose the other ones are a good quality too, it's just that they're heavy so when I use them to tape up or taper up to the next step. It puts undue pressure on the ears and it's not fun. All right, let's try this again. So we take hold of the front part of the tunnel and we take hold of the back part of the taper and we twist. This time it should do as I tell it to. And I believe it is, so I'm going to put the paper towel down. I'm going to still push on the front part, otherwise my ear is going to try and close and push it out because it's still a taper and that's what it does to tapers. And again, with the twisting, it doesn't want, I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this size getting the taper off of the tunnel and when I try to untwist it okay guys it's in it is finally in I had such trouble unscrewing the taper from the back of my tunnel but after all that hard work it's done and my ear is officially at a double zero my goal yay one down, one to go. All right. Why on earth I just unscrewed the tunnel? I have no idea. ADD at its finest. Okay, so we take the other end of our handy dandy Q-tip and we just go ahead and lube our ear. Go ahead and lube our tunnel. This vitamin E has come in so handy. I could not have done this stretch without it. I mean, I could have if I wanted to use like Vaseline, which is not recommended. I've done it before, but vitamin E is so much smoother for this purpose. Alrighty. Now to match the right ear with the left ear. Here we go. No pain, slight pressure. This is my loose ear, by the way, so hopefully it'll go in quicker, which I think it will. It's going in. I can feel it. And I think it's pretty much all the way in. I just need to push the skin around the back so it doesn't pinch. I think my left ear might have pinched a little when I went to screw the back on. If these are, by the way, these are inter internally threaded, but I think your skin can still pinch inside if you, if you're not careful. 
so I just like to be extra careful. And by the way, speaking of the left ear, um, there was a slight pinching feeling when I was uh, done stretching, but that feeling is not as pronounced. In fact, it's almost gone. So I am so excited, you guys. I, if, if, I, if you had a dollar for every time I said that, you would probably be rich. And I wish I could make that happen. Um, but yeah. Right sides in. I'm just going to take my handy paper towel here and attempt to unscrew the taper. And I think this process is going to be a lot easier than the other one was. Okay, here we go. Off with the taper. The other thing I like about Bot Effects is it takes a while to unscrew the back or the taper, which means that, you know, if you have it screwed on all the way, it's not going to come off. I mean, you're going to know it's coming off before it even falls off, so I like that. So here's our handy back, and we're just going to go ahead and screw it onto our tunnel. And here we go. I'm going to try not to pinch my ear again. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's just a matter of lining up the threads. You don't want to misalign it, because if you do, it might get stuck in your ear. And I thought that's what happened with my left ear. That's why I had to stop the video, because I was taking up too much of your time, and I just thought, you know, I'm just going to put it in, screw it back on, and that way you can see the finished product. And I can still kind of walk you through my right side. All right, let's go ahead and make sure it's all the way on there. And uh, it's got a little more give, which uh, my other sizes didn't. But for some reason, both of these do. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad, but these aren't going to stay in very long just to get the ears used to this size. And I'll go ahead and try in my double flare plugs. I'm so excited. Here is the finished product, you guys. Double zero. Yay! Woohoo! Let's celebrate! Okay, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate you taking your time. And I don't want to take up any more of it, so I just want to say thank you again. And if you want to subscribe, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you with me. I have a bunch of other videos regarding ear stretching, ear piercing, other kinds of piercings, uh, tattoos, anything. I even have other random randomness on my channel. So please subscribe. I would really love to have you with me. And if you liked this video, go ahead and let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And if you know somebody who's also in a stretching journey, feel free to share this video with them. And uh, hopefully it'll bring them some encouragement. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.